have it the hammer time bowling ball bow now you might almost be able to call it a hollow form even because the opening is smaller than the actual size of the vessel but we'll see what happens with it all I know is going into it I want to be able to keep all three holes for the finger holes the brand image and my lighting is horrible and I managed to also keep the I guess you call it the style of the ball this is a hammer venom ball uh, the weight core in the middle of it was absolutely horrendous to try to get out uh, I never could hardly get over 800 RPMs. It was just too badly out of balance until after I managed to get all the weight out of it. And then I was able to crank it on up to about 15 to do my final cuts on the inside before sanding. It sanded extremely easy. The uh, sanding was surprisingly easy. It was, it was a lot softer than what I thought as far as sanding goes, but that center core, goodness gracious, it was hard. Uh, see if I can find the bowl gouge. Now this ain't the world's best bowl gouge. This is a Benjamin's best bowl gouge. I don't know if you can make it out in the camera or not, but I was trying everything to get that core out and it actually almost like I took it to the grinder upside down and just hit it. Uh, it made shavings for about 10 seconds and then nothing. It completely rounded off. You can see that right there is still sharp. That's still sharp right there with the nose where I was trying to do a shear scrape. It just eat it away. Uh, I did finally use 
the reverse feature on my new lathe and that was excellent to be able to stand out here and see where my tool was going at where it's just kind of almost a hollow form uh, I couldn't really see where my tool was at traditional spinning but turning in reverse that really helped out a lot um, I don't know it was a learning experience I've been wanting to do one of these ever since I've seen it start going to viral on the internet I'm not sure who done the first one I know I've seen Carl Jacobs do one I've seen a couple guys on the uh, wood turning forums and stuff do them and uh, I want to do one but like I said I want to be able to keep all three holes manufacturer's logo and the style of the balls or style of the bowling ball uh, all those different logos I thought about instead of turning a flat foot I thought about actually turning a rounded foot on it to work kind of be like a weeble wobble I left a little bit of weight there in the bottom as you can see left a little thick um, but oh well uh, I might buff it out with the buffing wheels I might just uh, buff it out with a little bit of terry cloth uh, I sanded all the way down to 2000 grit I did not film all the sand and I think I've got somewhere around 30 gigabytes of uh, video from this it's it's been about a six hour process uh, but I'm going to say I probably will not be turning another one of these unless somebody is play, paying very handsomely uh, for me to turn one for them because that was a slow growing growing nightmare of a task but I didn't turn the outside any at all because uh, like I said these uh, logos are real thin I didn't want to lose any of the logo I managed to keep every bit of the writing that was on the ball so but I hope you enjoyed uh, it's probably going to be a couple months before this actually hits YouTube or Instagram because it's going to be a grueling editing process and I'm not very good at that so but thanks for watching if you watched this far uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and uh, get a little bit more videos out so I bought me a camera stand to hold my phone so hopefully there'll be more little clips on Instagram and maybe some more YouTube videos I'd like to get back into the YouTube and uh, kinda got out of that I was big into it for a little bit and then just lost interest you know how that goes uh, but have a good one